It's been days since the death of a 12-year-old student of Durham College in Lagos, Sylvester Romani Jr., in an alleged bullying case. In this next report, Plus TV correspondent Destiny Momo takes a look at how the silent menace has eaten deep into the young world, perhaps unconsciously. Deserted is the view surrounding Doan College, as it had been indefinitely shut by the Lagos state government. The whole essence of shutting down Doan College as a result of the tragedy that caused the loss of Sylvester, also known as Sly or Romani, is for the school to look inward and find out what they can do to help this tragedy that just happened in this school. Parents are watching. Citizens are watching. Children that have been bullied at one point or the other are watching. Now, if Doan College go ahead to conduct online classes for their students, it means that the whole essence of closing the school indefinitely would have been futile. Bullying is an old menace that keeps resurfacing every now and then. Sylvester's death from an alleged bullying by his seniors in school brings to fore again the danger inherent in bullying. The reality is stark. Counseling experts believe it is an inherited aggression from the parents to their children. These experts drive through the minds of young bullies, trying to bring up preventive measures to cop the menace. Who bully, consciously or unconsciously, picked it from events and occurrences, especially in the family, consciously or unconsciously. And um, why did I say this? A lot of things happen to children. Um, as human beings, we are product of nature and nurture. The, the, the result and the report card of parenting is what we see in the children that bully, basically. Maybe from homes where there is sibling rivalry, a polygamous home, or a child that grew up under a loveless environment for one reason, have been bullied while they were in junior, junior school. It's like systemic or cyclical that what they did to me in my junior classes, when I get to the senior class, I'll do it. And sincerely, some of them might be seeing it as, as a system, as fun, as a normal. Cyber bullying, we have emotional or psychological bullying, that is also verbal. We have physical bullying, and we have social bullying. There are three many categories of bullying, but the one that is close and associated with that civil star is what we call mobbing bullying. They really mob the boy. The bullying experience has been an old tradition which some parents have adopted for reasons best known to them. But more importantly, is to get their children more open to reality outside the home. For us all to go back to the drawing board, it's time to begin to learn, unlearn, and relearn parenting. If you look at the trend of what has happened, it is for all the stakeholders involved over that board, Sylvester. It's a failure on every part. And all other boys, boiling down to parenting, even to the school. So we cannot joke with parenting. During our own time, when we were in boarding house, you know, the metro used to go around maybe 12 a.m., uh, 12 years, 12 midnight, 3 a.m., 6 a.m. That 6 a.m., metro will be there when the bell will go. You know, all of us will save the prayer, morning prayer, different hostels, Alexia Hall, this hall, Celestia Hall, you know, something like that. Maureen Ukamakari is a parent. The recent event has made her to change her plan in putting her children in boarding facilities. Huh. Boarding qua. No, nothing like boarding. No. For me, boarding is cancel. Boarding school. In fact, Sunday, I and my husband were arguing it, and my husband said, boarding is zero. Because all this why you'll be saying, no, they will go to boarding. And imagine my children attend and say, Mommy, what is this boarding? I'm not leaving this house to anywhere. I will go to school from this house. So boarding is out of it. Some parents just take those children to the boarding schools because they don't have time for them. Please be there while I chase my business, while I chase other things. And they see 
they dump their responsibilities on the school. There are days, days students that, um, be, before the very eyes of their parents, they are going, <laughs> they are going south. So it's, I mean, but, yeah, but what makes boarding house quite challenging presently, especially as you can see in Nigeria, is that the economic tension, the pressure is so much. Hours after Darwin College was shot by the Lagos State Government, news filtered that the school continued online classes. From the aspect of the school taking up online classes, it was rather sudden. How was that communicated? But should they take online classes? Eventually, yes. Because whether we like it or not, all the students are also traumatized passively that this is our school, this is going on. And we have students there, but the way the school has gone about it and the timing and the, their model of communication could be wrong. But you should, I, I, I personally, I don't think um, online school is a bad idea. It's on the radio that online lectures started immediately. It should not be. You can see how lukewarm we are. Live, lost, online lecture. Which one is greater? The school is breeding something else. The school can even start in February. It doesn't matter. So that other, other proprietors, proprietors will learn. And then stand up and say, I don't want my school to be closed, though. I don't know my stand, but based on the fact that life is there, they should at least, maybe for one week or two weeks, not do anything. That one does not stop the student from learning or not learning on their own personal level. So I think they should not. No, no, no. I don't think it's right. I don't think it's right. Because this incident that happened, it has to do with um, everybody response. It's everybody responsibilities. So by doing this, it looks like uh, they didn't take it serious. Like nothing just happened. It's just like maybe they just went for a break or something. So I don't think that is really okay. The nature of Sylvester's death perhaps has brought up the level of intolerance and violence among the future of tomorrow. Like developed nations, would Nigeria rise up, take the bull by the horn, and stamp out bullying in schools? All eyes are on members of the hallowed chambers nationwide. Destiny Mom for Plus TV Africa. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.